We've been talking about choosing sample sizes if we're trying to get a confidence interval for a proportion, and now we're going to switch over to means. So we're still trying to choose a sample size based on some kind of restrictions. So in our um, case here, we have the restrictions that we have some specified level of confidence that we're trying to work with, and we also have um, a distance that we want to be from the um, sample mean. So here we want to have a confidence interval that's no wider than 2D. And we're trying to find the smallest sample size n so that we can still have this work. All right, so similar to the proportion setting, we have a theorem for the means. So in order for our sample mean x bar to have a 100 times 1 minus alpha percent chance of being within D of mu, the sample size should be no smaller than n equals z alpha over 2 squared times sigma squared divided by d squared. And z alpha over 2 is defined just as it was in the previous video. So as we can see, we have sigma squared over here. So this all assumes that either sigma squared is known or we have a good estimate of it. So maybe we have a similar study, like the Hennepin County, Ramsey County setting, or maybe we have like a previous study, maybe that's like 5 or 10 years old, but still could be relevant. All right, so if we want to prove this theorem, it's going to look a lot like the proof for the theorem for proportions. So again, all of it is going to hinge on the fact that we have this central limit theorem. So we'll be using this and um, the same setup to as in the proportion video in order to get this here. So go ahead and do that on your own.